Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a self-graded quiz using Google Forms. So if you don't yet know how to create a Google Form, you can go to brentcoley.com and on my site I have put a collection of short tutorial videos that will show you exactly how uh, you can create a Google Form of your own. So for the purpose of this video, I have created a short Google form that you can see here. I've got a math quiz on multiplication. So you can see that I've got uh, six fields here. I've made a field for the student to put his or her name. And then I put five short multiplication questions. So if my students were doing, uh, learning how to do multi-digit multiplication, I could put the students in front of a computer and you would want them to have paper and pencil as well. And what they could do was use the paper and pencil to actually work out the problems and then they could put their answers in the text boxes here and when they're done they would click submit. Now when a student takes the quiz and hits submit it is going to put their answers and dump them into a spreadsheet that looks like this. So you can see it gives me the timestamp of when the student took the quiz then I've got the column B shows me the name of the students and then column C through G gives the different questions and what each student's response was for those questions. Now here's how you can create the, the graded quiz. But before we get there you'll notice that the, in line 14 I've got the name Brent. What you're going to want to do when you create a, a form that you're going to use for a quiz, you're going to want to take the quiz yourself and submit the correct answer. So what I did was I went to the form, put in the right answers under Brent, so I'm going to use this data here as my answer key. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So the next thing that we want to do in order to make our self grading quiz is we're going to want to insert into our form something called a script. A script is basically some code that kind of works behind the scenes that makes your, your form do something. And to do that I'm going to go up to the insert menu because I want to insert something and I'm going to click that and I'm going to go down to the bottom. I want to insert a script. So I'm going to click there and that's going to open up the script gallery and again you can see there's a whole bunch of scripts that we can do but what I want to do here is I'm gonna to want to search for a script called Flubaroo F-L-U-B-A-R-O-O -O. so I'm gonna click the search key and you can see that there it is Flubaroo right here so I'm gonna click install wait a couple of seconds and it's going to install this again behind the scenes script into this specific Google form that I'm using for a self graded quiz. So I need to authorize it so I'm going to click continue and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and click accept and wait a couple more seconds and now you can see the script is installed. So I'm going to click close and now what you'll notice up here on my menu I see there is a Flubaroo button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click there and then you can see the different choices that I have. I can grade the assignment, I can set the language, or I can learn more about the script Flubrew. I want to click Grade Assignment. You're then going to see a window that opens up for Flubrew that looks like this. Now what you're going to see here is it's going to list the different columns that you have in your spreadsheet, the name and the five questions. Now under the grading option you can see for, for name my choices are the point values or identifies student. Well, I want to keep this as identifies the student because that's what it's doing. And then you can see for the different five questions, I have the option of giving it different point values. So I can keep it with one point or I can go all the way up to five points for each different question. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and make each, vi each uh, question worth two points. And then I'm going to go over and click continue and it's getting ready to set that up. Now the last thing that it's going to need to do is it's going to ask me what is the answer key? What are the right answers for this script? So like I said earlier I went ahead and took the quiz myself and I titled that Brent. So I'm going to tell Flubrew Brent. I want you to use this set of data as the answer key and once I click continue it is grading my assignment and here's the beauty of this it's done. It has already graded that quiz. And it's got some information here that says it has created a new 
worksheet and what it's done you can see down here I now have in this spreadsheet two different worksheets I have the student submissions and a new worksheet called grades another thing I want to point out Fluberoo has taken and when it grades the quiz it will put any student who has scored below 70% those at <coughs> those at risk students for this quiz it puts them in a red font so let me go ahead and click view grades to close this out and now you can see here the nice thing about this is Fluberoo disaggregates the data for you so you can see it summarizes it points possible there were 10 points the average points on this quiz the average grade for the class 7.33 there were 12 students who uh, put their who actually took the quiz and the number of low scoring questions out of the five questions one of them was low scoring so if I go ahead and scroll down a little bit I can see here are the students that took that quiz and like I said you can see in red Sean Diego Hector Ben and Laura they scored below 70 percent so it has put them in red now what you could do if you want to just grade this you could take these scores right here and you could put that directly into your grade book so you can see how much time Google Forms and the script Flubrew has saved if I had 35 students in my class it graded them in a snap and now I have the grades that I can put into the grade book but the thing that I really love about Flubrew and the Google uh, in the Google Forms is if I scroll over and I can see here now I'm gonna go ahead and refresh because right here sometimes it does that it doesn't put it all in so I'm gonna refresh my form here and now if I scroll back over now I can see they're all there so I can see for question one it tells me exactly what each student how many points they got but nice the nice thing about it right down here it says 91.66 91 percent of my kids got question one right so it's telling me okay good that they got that concept question two I can look down Ooh, only 66 percent of them got that one right I might want to revisit that one and question three you can see it's even highlighted it because only 41 percent of the students grasped that concept I am definitely going to want to go back and modify my instruction I gotta reteach that because my students didn't grasp that concept uh, question four and five 75 percent and they definitely got uh, question five 91 percent so again the great thing about Google Forms and the script Flubrew is if you have your students uh, do one of these forms you could give them a homework assignment and then randomly select a few of the questions from the homework assignment put them into a Google form have them do that Google form that night and then you can look at the spreadsheet have it grade it and you already know which questions they got right and which questions they got wrong you already know for example here I would know oh boy I need to go back and I need to reteach this question because my students did not grasp that concept so once again this is how you can create a self graded quiz using Google Forms and Fluberoo